right, welcome back to the program. It is Reactions, Rants, and Rabbit Holes. Rolling Green here. I am me, you are you, and I'm telling you what we're going to do. We're going to roll into the comments for a bit. Uh, first, uh, Baco, should I translate? Well, the greatest guitarist on the planet, I, uh, you know, I think he is up there. We, we know uh, what some other uh, incredible guitarists have said. So, yeah, it's very, very possible he is the greatest. And uh, not known to everyone, which is interesting. I like that. Okay, now, Samson, we got quite a few here, so I'm, I'm glad this worked out. Samson is great, and apparently he's had skills for a while. Yes, you might have saw that Jaybird bonus. Middle school magic. Fantastic. The guy needs more eyes on him. Yes. Uh, regarding people begging to get to number one on a chart, I always think it's funny when fans of a particular artist claim that anyone attacking him are just jealous and looking to boost their numbers when he's the one always begging for downloads and talking about chart positions. I think that's what I was kind of mocking is um, there's in, especially in that Samson, right? In, in Cesspool, he put it right in his bars. Chasing that bottom line feels wrong. I think mocking the grifters is where it's at give it up. I mean, they got the grifty awards. At least some of the grifters know they're grifters and they go celebrate the grift. Acknowledging that you're in it for the bottom line, it, that's fine. We we can hold you to whatever standard we want to hold you to because of it. But um, I do think it's funny that they, they feed off each other and all they're looking is to feed the algorithm. Let's get everything optimized. Now, numbers, numbers, numbers. And even though I didn't care for the entire uh, Mac Lethal diss thing on Tom, I will I will say that, you know, Tom's got a straight formula, doesn't leave the box much, and he just puts up massive numbers. So you can, you can have this conversation because, uh, you know, he begs for more views. He's constantly pushing to number one. But on a side note, I saw him put his family in videos, getting them paydays. And uh, building his own little empire. I would got to believe that's what they're all trying to do. It's just how much self-respect and dignity do you want to wield as you're doing it. Now, I think Samson has got it, got it everywhere. He's just got it going on. And um, I just, uh, you know, I hope, uh, I hope he just starts putting out some rap. That's fine. I don't need, I don't need it to all be uh, uh, thought-provoking. I just think he deserves, as you said, uh, more eyes on him. Hey, quit sleeping on Samson. That's all I got to say. All right. Back up. Marty, Marty, we covered to you. Uh, uh, added. It's already did it. It's done. The fucking people's champ right here, folks. Facts, no filters, funny as fuck, and more bars than Alcatraz. A Damage Inc. That's a well-written comment. I'm going to let you know right there. That was nice. Uh, some bars of your own. You're spitting in the comments there. I like it. Uh, very, very cool. All right. Tried and getting some love and invisible from Suspension. And I think that, God, was that an Italian? I can't remember. Uh, I, I think I remember, uh, um, I think I remember that a little bit. It was, I think it was pretty cool. Ravenous, been a while. Oh, I'm excited. I, I, I didn't know, you know, and it's, I don't do the same thing over and over and over. So I get used to, you know. Forming a small bond with someone out there, and then, then, then they go away, and I don't know if I pushed them away or, like others, that you know, it's a commitment for the amount of content put out, and sometimes you got to move on. So let me uh, let me read first, and then come back. Okay, uh, honestly, I could uh, I could pack it up. Oh, I'm not gonna in any way, shape, or form, but I could pack it up right now and quit. This is the. This is all I care about. This, I mean, you don't have to believe me, but um, oh, I'm trying to, yeah, there. So um, 
I, I am so in love with this mofo. I haven't stopped rewinding. Spaz out happy dance. Rewind, sit, and laugh. Rewind, so awesome. Never heard it. There. So nobody asked me to do, right, the blockhead stuff. This is my natural. I just think it's fair because, I mean, I was looking at numbers, and, and I'm like, you know, this stuff with Aesop gets huge views. Let's, let's look at what else there was. And then I found one with Ace. Awesome. But the, 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 the just instrumental was great. Um, I, I like that this channel brings stuff that, that just for this, for this purpose. I didn't know why I was doing it. It just came up. I was trying to get a little love to Blockhead, right? Uh, for And then I just learned they were in college together. And that this uh, this auxiliary goes back to then, maybe. Very cool. Um, it's very cool. Uh, so awesome. Never heard it. The beat is happy as, uh, you know, as hell. Uh, uh, stretching meanings into and multiplying entendres of uh, Mississippi is, is so ace up. Uh, laughing, uh, laughing your ass off over there and rewinding again. I haven't even thought to figure out any lyrics, just enjoying the beat. Whenever words hit me, I eagerly await the developing love story me and this track will have forever. Did, uh, hey, you know, you know, that whole thing, missed you and thanks for, thanks for being you. That's it. That's all. I'm so glad that worked out that way. And to, uh, not, you know, not have seen you in the comments for, for a bit. And then that's awesome. So yeah, thank you. Uh, from, uh, Miss Fabian a while back, uh, uh, um, you're a true human being guy. E even if French is not your natural lang language, you made efforts. And I think you finally understood everything even between lines. Great job. And thanks for making people discover that. Sorry for bad English. It's not, uh, trust me. Uh, my peers grunt and moan more than this on a regular. Uh, this is not your language. Well, for being bilingual, then you've grasped it entirely well. And, uh, you know, thank you. I appreciate you. And that is a real. Um, I, I'm, we're going back to the Miss Fabian concert today. Uh, for sure. Uh, that's that's going to be the other reaction for today, just because it turns out you know, I, oh, Roland didn't know he was going to take to a pop star. We're just going to call it that for lack of uh, better words. But, I, you know, I didn't think that would ever happen to me, and it did. And I'm not ungrateful, even though I sometimes am way too hard on myself because uh, I don't think I'm worthy. And I believe I've uh, mentioned this before, but I, I'm not much for the grift. I respect the people putting out content for Miss Fabian, even if they're not getting the numbers, uh, because they love and adore her as an artist. I'm I'm okay with being in the middle, being a fair weather fan, but realizing there's something incredible there, and uh, just appreciating it for what it is. And then I think this comment right here, uh, kind of, is what I'm talking about. Uh, I hope it's just a, a goofball falling ass backwards into something wonderful. And um, I hope I appreciate it for what it is. And, uh, you know, with the knowledge base small, well, what can I do, right? I just, just appreciate it. But I know I do. And, uh, well, comments like this uh, remind me to keep going back because there's someone out there that enjoys that experience and as I'm hard on myself I realize you could go get a pretentious take and a, a vocal breakdown anywhere and they are more than happy for your views uh, they need to keep crunching views to pay for the team that they created to make their channel uh, you know me, myself, and I don't have on that much we have to rely. We just uh, keep showing up, faking our way through it, and appreciating the people who take it for what it's worth. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, I appreciate you. Um, we'll give it a, a wow thank you. Uh,
Uh, Hearst is an awesome song. I love the part where it's just Asaka and her plucking her guitar. Such a sweet voice. It's from Trident. Uh, official uh, Christopher Morris. Uh, I, I was about to tell you about this. Laugh, laugh. I've seen... Uh, I've seen you know, um, seen our reactions to big uh, to this big name artist, uh, but I just think we need more Samson Jaybird. He's a hidden creature for real. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent on that. Uh, I think that's why we're back today. And uh, Marty, uh, we appreciate Marty for the asking. Uh, Pool Junkie One from Samson as well. Appreciate your honesty. I hope that's what I'm bringing to the whole deal. I mean, I hope. So, uh, thank you. From my hero complex, Nemo. We need more punk from Nemo Villa. They just released another one, a cover. Um, let's see. Now, that uh, set up, um, it, it won't allow me to translate that any farther. Uh, by slang, it's uh, more hardcore than punk, but it's amazing. We will... Uh, from uh, Except Metal Heart, they, they liked the album back, uh, back back when we had the frame back there. And uh, uh, we're framing our <laughs> reactions. Uh, that was cool. Uh, from some love for Dimash. Okay, I wanted to get to this one for sure. Uh, Eve of Destruction. So... Let's say we're just a current bus rider. You're just a viewer. You're just following across the channel for the first time today. Hey, thank you for joining us over here at Reactions, Rants, and Rabbitals. Appreciate you. But Eve of Destruction, uh, This people might not know this, but it gets comments every day, every other day. So it gets, it, it constantly grows. And I think I need to go back to Eve to Destruction uh, rolling into take two. Eve of Destruction and see where I'm at. Uh, yeah, I mean, I still think Imagine is, uh, you know, <clears throat> funny enough, maybe instead of going with what I used to think, I should go back and hear it again. Uh, I used to have opinions. I, Imagine is one of the big songs we used to discuss. But then I went down and learned more about Lennon himself and a complicated individual. Uh, it seemed seemed to actually seem like we would hit eye to eye on a couple subjects. So, um, utopian ideas that can get into your music. I get that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna shit on that idea. But uh, in actual um, reality, uh, knowing <laughs> those are kind of pipe dreams is important. Um, so back, uh, back on this one, it's, um, 70 and in 1965, I was 11 years old. China was referred to as red China. Always remind, well, they just went through their cultural revolution, right? We have individuals still speaking now. I follow one. She's running for uh, local government. I think, uh, who went through that had to be going through the indoctrination watched. Hey, you think you look up the eating grandma's portion. Look where the cannibal is, hey, you know. But um <clears throat> the turning uh yeah, of course you had strong propaganda. Cause <laughs> uh no, you 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 know, after uh, Nixon went to China, and I Nixon I think is complicated too. You rarely hear red China. No, you you see it as a model for the totalitarian future and control system, uh, social credit scoring, and uh, complete disregard for the citizenry. Because see, it's like Section Eight housing. It looks good on the outside, but the amount of junkies and criminals and rapists it's hiding is is unbelievable. Yeah, no, I said it that way. It's true. Just because you can um, trim the hedges and mow the lawn doesn't make the morals and values inside the residencies uh, good. 
Just because it looks pretty doesn't mean you can't leave your control system. You can't go out to the country. You know, your social credit score is not high enough. You just suffer. No, I, I think that's why. Because they're being used. Uh, uh, I'm, a, I'm crazy. I admit it. And in the great, what is it, the Great Reset book or the, the one of the globalist uh, uh, books basically talks about how, um, you know, the Pacific Ring of Fire area will be the, the new inhabitants of the control system. So anybody who likes freedom and liberty, you're problematic. Broken, compliant, willing to do whatever they're told by their government, uh, citizenry who steeped in uh, appeal to authority. That's what the system wants. People who say yes to everything their government says. I hate to double down here, but that's why we haven't been visiting Australia for a while. Because they're getting to a point where their officials are saying, none of you know anything, only us government officials. I don't think there's any evidence that government officials know their ass from a hole in the ground. That's both sides. All I want to see is people in checks and balances and then let's not just keep rewriting everything. I don't know. I think it's so complicated. We're, we're in a tough spot. But I do believe I need to go back to Eve of Destruction and see if I was too whatever. Too big of an asshole. I don't know. Uh, I'm positive that I don't dance on the graves of the fallen. I am positive that I believe in tragedy and um, triumph in the same disgusting um, uh, historical events. I know that was one of the problems with that reaction is I, I'm not stupid. Heroic moments exist in even things that other people think are atrocities. Doesn't change the moment of bravery or, or, you know, other. And I'm, I think that was my reflection in there, but I don't remember. And uh, uh, because this channel for sure thinks the global new world order is a bad idea, you know, this one, uh, Eve of Destruction, Barry Maguire, uh, gets a lot of um, back and forth on uh, geopolitical, uh, you know, um, discussions, kind of, you know, historical happenings and... Uh, just deeper comments than almost any other reaction. I think I got to go back and visit that. Um, uh, cause, uh, hey man, it's good. Oh, this was, I was, cause I felt bad. I attributed tobacco to blockhead and so on and so forth. Yep, we do. I just like to own it. It's, it's easier to own it than possibly have the channel blow up someday and then have people, uh, use it against you. I'd rather own it all. Yep. I'm uh, I fail every now and then here's how I failed, where I failed and let's move on. So, uh, Hey man, it's good. We all get a little mixed up at times. Yeah. Especially when you look at the amount of uh, music I go back and forth with. It's easy. I absolutely love this era of blockheads production. If you want to see one of the coolest animated videos ever made, I highly recommend checking out the music scene by blockhead. Super psychedelic and artistic, wonderfully made. I That sounds very good. Uh, as for Tobacco, he's also a great producer and musician in general. He actually made an entire score for High on Life, which is a super trippy and hilarious video game that came out a couple years ago. As much as I love Tobacco's solo work, I love the music that he makes with his band Black Moth Super Rainbow. I, Black Moth Super Rainbow sounds cool. I'm just saying. I'm not being a dick. I look at the Black Moth Super Rainbow. That's a name. Uh, uh, equally, I like to expose you to them. Yep, you did. Awesome. Best way I can describe them to you infuse it: fuzzy, chaotic, synthy, manic. Oh. Some of those words I can resonate with. Uh, I recommend the video for uh, Windshield Smasher. Uh, Black Moss Super Rainbow. I think you'll get a kick out of it. 
Uh, here's a little love for um, love for uh, Nemo here. Oh, a little love for Nemo. Uh, Dragon, uh, Dragon Phil. I really. It's been a bit. Thank good. Glad it was. It was so upbeat, man. Uh, and then um, one more on uh, Blockhead. Uh, these are some of the beats of his early. Uh, these are some of his early beats back when he was in college with Ace. For comparison, you could check out Bleach Blanket Bloodbath from one of her uh, his more recent albums. It doesn't have quite the same psychedelic, flowy feel, but it's interesting to see how much he's changed over the past twenty years of making music. I actually like that. Nope, that right there. I like that idea. So. So that's a good idea. Hold on. All right, it got up. Uh, we've got uh, bleach, be bleach, beach blanket, uh, blood bath. That's a, that is a, a mouthful. Uh, blockhead, the music scene, uh, but that looks like a commercial right now. And then uh, black moth, this is super not rainbow, my fault. wind shield smasher. Official video, and I found the track, so we'll figure out which one works. Uh, this is all kind of a mess right now because we were working on comments. That uh, happens. So, basically, uh, Kaz, uh, I appreciate you letting me know that you watch a couple other things. I I kind of talk the way I do sometimes because I realize people don't watch everything. And I tried if I know that's, I don't know, storyline that's arrogant of me uh you know when i think too much information is over in another reaction that's kind of when i hint or make some weird statement about not watching everything those days uh whatever i'm ranting about is probably mixed in reactions that don't have uh, cross genre appeal Right, so I try to point it out because I don't expect everybody to watch everything. I I think about I, I talked about an atmosphere yesterday, and we'll wrap it up here. Mike H. and uh, the amount of time he put in the first year and a half, and then they, it gets you to the spot where then I don't see you again. And I I don't expect every I don't want people to give up their life in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I don't want it to be. Uh, hopefully it's crazy enough it can't be too addictive or uh, obsessive over it because, you know, I'm kind of a rambling idiot. But if I think the rambling has a point and it's mixed in everywhere else, that's when I kind of like, hey, if you don't watch everything, you're not figuring it out. And maybe I'm trying to make a point that I, I don't know if I've said it correctly, but I think I've said enough about it that all the pieces make it come together. I hope. I hope that's what's going on. Uh, Kaz, appreciate you. Uh, shitty would, uh, uh, you know, if I get anybody's name wrong, I hope you realize I didn't. If we were standing next to each other talking, I would talk to you, the human, the name technically, all them names, it'd be irrelevant because my connection would be you to the actual human being. And, um, I try to tell the ladies at work, I, I'm never going to actually talk to your breasts. I'm just going to talk to your eyes and you, the people. I, I separate all that. Uh, you, you're the sum of it all, not just a name or sweater kittens or something else. I'm kidding, but I'm not. Uh, thank you, everybody. The support for the channel. Now, uh, I had uh, hearted it all, but uh, just so Robert has been... He has just been taking care of the channel like you wouldn't believe. I uh, I just, thank you, Robert. Thank you for all your support. Um, I go with the part that means the most, that the content and the connections and uh, the conversation. But your contributions are huge, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Till next time, sometime later.